hello and welcome so in this video we are going to talk about uh, instance type okay so based on the instance type it will decide your hardware okay so uh, first step is like we have to select ami and now we have second step is select the instance type okay now you cannot enter value over here like i want four processor or i want like a, a four core or like 32 gb of ram yeah so instead of that you have to select instance type okay so in this video we'll talk about different instance type and what is the meaning of all this instance type okay so before i start let me uh, go to the amazon ec2 console and here i will explain you like from where you will get the instance type okay so let me share my screen and here we have a uh, EC2 dashboard and when you go over here you will get this instance type okay now we have big list over here so uh, if you want to filter this you can select over here and it will give you instance type okay now here we have an important matter is this a letter right for example there is a specific meaning of this letter T letter A letter C and based on this we have this instance type okay so let me uh, explain you this using this mind map okay. so for example we are having this 13 different letter and we'll talk about this yeah 14 is a really different thing that i will explain you okay so let me start with the number one and the number one is like d d for dense storage instances okay so it is a high level storage okay if you want a really very high sequential read and write access you have like a hadoop distribution distributed computing yeah you want massive parallel processing and if you have like a data warehouse you should use this dense storage instances okay so basically d is for dense storage and if you require high storage uh, like your storage the application is like a storage hungry in this case you should select this dense instance okay now when you go over here you will find this yeah so we have this d2 yeah so we'll talk about this large extra large and all this right now we are just talking about this particular instance letters yeah so this is like a d then storage then you can select a a is basically for arm based instances already i explained you about arm based processor yeah so if you want ARM based processor instance, you can select this as well. For some application, it is required. Okay, so A for ARM based instances, and you will get list if you here in this. Okay, so here you will get this EC2 instances starting with the A. Yeah, we have this A1, A1 large. Okay, so these instances are basically ARM based processor. And now we are going to talk about IOPS. Okay, IOPS means it is a input output per second. Okay, now IOPS decide your speed. Okay, the speed of the storage. Again, if you have a storage hungry application like NoSQL database, your database is like in memory database, data warehouse. Elasticsearch, we'll talk about this Elasticsearch later. Uh, uh, we have this topic in our syllabus. Yeah. And if you have a data analytic application, in this case, you can use I, like uh, instance type starting with the I. Again, you can get it in the list. Yeah. So we have I, I over here, and we have I2, I3. Yeah. If we have I2 and then I3, it means I3 is the latest one. So, IOPS, I. Okay. Now, if you require lots of RAM in memory database, okay, you can use R. Okay. So, instance starting with R, basically based on the RAM. Yeah. This is like the, this particular instance require lots of RAM. Right. So, R. And then we have T. Now, T is a cheap general purpose. Okay. So, 
if you want a set general purpose instance like uh, your workload is really very normal okay you can use t so we have like a t2 yeah we have t2 micro over here we have t3 basically these are the general purpose instances right and they have balance of ram processor and storage and networking okay so it is a one type of a balance system okay then we have main choice for general purpose okay so if you have a specific ape you require better performance than the t type of instance type you can use this m okay so it is like a t but it has a better performance yeah so the, we have this m4 m5 okay m4 and f5 m5 is a, a new version right and then we have cc means compute compute means processor okay so if your application is a processor hungry and you required high level of cpu you can use compute yeah so c c4 c5 these instances are basically having a high power cpu okay then the normal instances then we have g g for graphics so if you want to use for graphic works you can use g instances okay so here we have this g instances and then we have f f for the field programmable get get arrays it is like it is called f pga and basically if you are using real time video processing and all that particular application you can use this okay like this is the specific requirement okay so in this case you can use instance uh, starting with the f yeah f is for fpga and then we have p p is starting with the uh, p stands for pictures okay so if you want a general purpose gpu yeah and if you want to use machine learning application and basically if you want like a photo processing application in this case you can use ec2 instance type starting with the p u means bare metal okay bare metal means there is no operating system you will get your hardware and then you can install this we'll talk about this bare metal in upcoming session yeah and when we'll talk about uh, instance purchase option okay then uh, if you want extreme memory yeah it is like a high power computer you can use star x x means extreme memory and then we have like a 13th it is like a z factor okay so you want extreme memory and extreme cpu in this case you can use z factor okay now you may not get every instance in a uh, every region yeah this instance type is based on the on the on the region as well okay so this is done we have this 13 ec2 instance type that is okay now if you don't remember it it is okay but yeah if you can able to remember this number like i4 iops r4 ram it is okay right and this is like a 14th now this is really important okay because in the latest exam they are asking question about this okay so there is a option of the nitrops based system based instance okay so what happens like sometime you your application required a direct hardware access okay so your application may not run on a virtual machine and instead of that this application required a uh, the required environment of a uh, environment of a physical machine okay so in this case you can select nitro based system instances yeah so provide bare metal capability that eliminate virtualization overhead and support workload that required full access to the hardware why because basically when you are using virtual machine virtual machine cannot access hardware directly yeah because we have this hypervisor there okay but if you use this nitro system okay you will get this uh, lightweight virtualization capabilities and your uh, machine can able to access hardware okay so for some requirement uh, we have to select this nitro system based instances okay and here we have this list of the systems these are basically nitro system based yeah nitro based systems okay now keep this in mind because nowadays this type of questions they are asking in the exam okay now how i can select this for example if i want to 
select any instance how I can select this and what is the meaning of this yeah so we have like see when you select any instance okay we have nano so you will get like a very minimum processor and then we have micro small medium now here it is like if you selecting large and what you will get is like a 8 CPU yeah uh, 2 virtual CPU 8 GB of RAM okay now if you are selecting extra large it will double the configuration okay so for example it is a 4 virtual CPU and 16 and here we have this T2 T2 is like a general purpose and extra large means it is a it has a double capacity than the large yeah 2x large having a double capacity than the extra large now you can see like like 4x large also so it has a double capacity than 2x large right so this is based on the capacity okay now when you are creating your ec2 instance you have to select this instance type as well okay so how we can do this so i'm going to ec2 instance and then you have to select launch instance and here we have launch instance now click select and here you will get this instance type okay so for example it is t2 it is general purpose and then we have t3 okay so when you select t3 over here you have to select like a micro small medium large yeah, large means two virtual processor and 8 gb of ram extra large it is like a double the capacity 2x large it will double the capacity of extra large right and see this like i'm having t2 okay so if you are using t2 you will get 2.3 2.3 gigahertz a cpu okay and it is like if you are selecting t3 you will get 2.5 gigahertz so better configuration yeah so 2t is like a general purpose t2 and t3 is like a version of them yeah and you can select the entire family from here and then you can select next okay now when we are using our lab okay uh, we will create any instance with the t2 micro yeah take care of this because t2 micro is a free tier eligible okay so whenever you create your account like whenever you have aws account okay it will uh like you can create t2 micro for free okay now you will get 750 hours free per month for one year of the period okay so like when it is powered on so keep this in mind whenever you are when whenever we are creating any instance for any purpose or any any lab always select t2 micro because these instances are free tier eligible okay if you are selecting this amazon will not charge you anything okay and in the next topic uh we will create our first windows instance okay and once we'll create this i will explain you uh about uh, instance purchase option okay so this is done and now if you have any question okay if you have any question you can ask me by commenting below i will try to answer very quickly and uh, thank you very much and see you in the next video